These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS4 tutorial today for modded users. And I'm running a 5.05 firmware on my PS4 Slim. So let's say that your PS4 is running slow, you mess around with Linux, whatever, and you went to safe mode on your PS4 and you rebuilt the database. If you don't know how to do that exactly, I have a link in the video description that goes into more details. But real quick summary is you have your PS4 off, you press and hold down the power button, wait until you hear the two beeps, connect your PS4 controller through USB, and then go to option number five to rebuild the database. PS4 restarts and it looks exactly like my screen right here. So if I go to like my settings here, and then if I go into storage, we can see that I have a lot of applications that's installed and a lot of this is really my games. However, if you go to the main X and B screen, you wouldn't know that because my games are not showing up here. And rather than reinstall the games, there's even an easier way to do this. And there's a Python script that we can run later in this video tutorial that will basically fix your database to repoint to your games that's installed on your hard drive. Your save game files are still retained. That's awesome, that's great news, and this will save a lot of time. So, what I'm gonna do first is, um, let me go ahead and run the web exploit through the user's guide. So I'm running the web exploit from Alazif on my PC. You could also do the cache all method if you wish. So let's go to 5.05, and then all you need to do here is run the FTP and make note of your IP address here. So in my particular case, once it shows, my IP address for this PS4 is um, 10.0.0.33, just like that's shown on the screen here. And uh, we're good to go. So jot that down, you know, write it down, remember it, whatever, because that's going to be useful for later in this video tutorial. And then all we need to do here is just let your PS4 sit here in the background. And then what we're going to do next is let's go on the PC side of things. Let me show you how to get the script, how to run it, all that cool stuff. And then we'll re revisit the PS4 a little bit later and show a lot of good times here with the game. So with that said, let's go straight to the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So on this next portion of the video tutorial, let me show you how to get the files that we need to get this working. And it's real simple. I'm doing this on Windows 10. I suspect it'll work on the other window operating systems as well. So in the link in the video description, I have a link to this article. Basically it goes over the process as we're going over today. But most importantly, there's two things that we need. One is the PS4 DB Rebuilder. So there's a link here to the GitHub. So basically you go to the GitHub site, go to release, and then you can click on this .zip file and it will download to your computer. So I already had that extracted to my desktop, which we'll get to in a little bit, a little bit soon here. The next item here is you need Python. So you click on this link to go to the main Python website and you can download the latest version for Windows, for example, download that executable and install it on your computer. I've already done that and we're good to go. All right, so here's the next step. So here's this folder, right, that I already unzipped. This is the PS4 uh, the database script, basically, that's written in Python. So the shortcut here is we're gonna op open up a command line or command prompt, but I find it is best to open up a PowerShell. So the easiest way to do this is to hold um, the shift button on your keyboard and then right click and then go to open PowerShell window here. Okay, at this point, what I like to do is I like to type in the dir, oops, let me do this again, click the window, then type the dir command, and it'll show this screen here. I like this because I can see the exact syntax here. So now the next thing we want to do is um, type in py space fix underscore db dot py space and then type in your PS4 IP address. In my case, it is 10.0.0.33, right? And then you press enter. And if everything's working correctly, you'll see this kind of stuff happening. And then that's it. That's all you gotta do on the PC side. It's that simple. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is real quickly here, let's jump straight back to my PS4 and finish off this tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we're back on my PS4. And if I press the home button, basically it's gonna look like this. Nothing has changed, right? I don't expect it to change. So let's go to power here and just restart 
the PS4. So let's go here and restart the PS4. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and let's log into my local profile here. And here we see my games came back. Now I can't run them directly because I got to run the exploit. That's not a problem. So let's go back to settings here. User's guide. 5.05. Let's run the hen. Hopefully we don't have a crash. Awesome. We're good to go. And let's just load one of my games here as an example. And we see clearly that it is loading. So that is today's video tutorial in order to fix your, or rebuild your database rather on your CF4, um, PS4, CFW machine. And um, it's a great solution. You don't have to reinstall your games. You do have to reinstall, it looks like your homebrew app. So you have RetroArch or whatever. You gotta reinstall those guys. But that's a small price to pay to in order to keep the majority of your games, uh, which is awesome. And then, you know, your save games, they still work. Uh, which is not an issue. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.